Okay, now we're going to start the painting of the figure. And uh, get my paints out here. Actually, all I'm using is a plate here, an old plate. And I'm going to use that. And of course, I have my water here that I use my brushes with. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get me some black. Uh, let me find the black here. I'm sorry, I'm kind of colorblind just a little bit. Here we go. And everyone knows that I painted by um, dipping my uh, brushes in uh, water. I'm going to take a little black and I'm going to work a little black around. And I'm going to do my shoes with black. I use the bigger brush to, um, to sort of do it. And I I as everybody knows, I layer my colors. Um, I usually don't put on, I, I use a wash rather than a strong, strong color at first. And then I kind of hit it real hard with a stronger version. Okay, there is my black shoes. Okay, put my black up, and then I'm going to go to my uh, burnt umber. Uh, there's a little place right there I missed. There we go my black shoes and now I'm going to go with my burnt umber for the hat as you can see I, I use a lot of, of of um... water to get the staining effect when once it's dried. I am not an intricate painter. I don't spend a lot of time um, just, you know, just making everything perfect. Um, I like my pieces to look sort of old and antiqued. But I've got a new uh, way of, of bringing the colors out a little bit in the finishing process with the bowl linseed oil and then something else and I'll show you that. I have just added that to it. I was doing some experimenting one day and I liked it when I got through with it. So, Okay, there's the burnt, burnt umber hat. Okay, I'm going to choose a, a blue, uh, sort of a navy blue for the pants. Let me get my burnt umber away from here. I'm going to choose a navy blue for the pants. So, um, I mix it up real good. As you can see, I really water down my piece or my um, I have to admit I don't take my time as much 
with my painting, but it comes out the way I want it. Uh, I'm not in competition or anything like that. I, I, I know guys that spend just, just weeks on their painting and stains like that. I don't with my flat plane carving. Uh, I get it done pretty quick. like my pieces to look old. I like them to look uh, antique. And there is naturally an old woodcutter. He wouldn't have a nice beautiful pair of pants and stuff like that. That's why I like to carve hobos and things like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use another brown uh, a brown color for my um, a, for my coat this is just a this is a lighter brown than the burnt umber See, I keep dipping my um, I keep dipping my uh, thing into the water because I don't want a thick, thick paint on there. I want just a wash on my piece. That is the way I want it. Okay, as I get closer to the hand, I want to, uh, and the axe itself. Now I can go ahead and use the brown, but I would rather use the burnt umber for the handle of the axe. So it doesn't exactly come around. Okay, brown for the, um, uh, right. All right, I'm going to take my burnt umber and I'm going to go ahead and use it for the uh, handle and a little bit of this brown. I'm just mixing it together a little bit for the handle of our axe. And I'll throw a little of the brown in there. All right. There we go. Okay. Now let's let's use the shirt. Let's go to the shirt now. But he has. And I I want to go with like a little golden. Uh, it's it's not quite. Uh, actually, it's called. Uh, Subdual brown is sort of a no. That's not what I want. I'm sorry. That's not what I, want. I actually want. This here. This is a golden brown. <clears throat> Whoops. Wow. Ooh, that didn't hurt. That hurt. <laughs> Ooh, that hurt on the hand. I, I guess the. See, it's not just the carving, folks. It can be anything. I can grab something and it can uh, just um, doing the lawnmowers, things like that. It, it's, it's not just carving that my hand begins to show its problem. Uh, it can also be, this is a golden brown, and I'm going to put this right here. I'm 
gonna hit it a little bit harder and get that in there. A bit heavier. There we go. Like that. Okay. Now we're gonna go to the hair, which uh, and the beard. I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of red in the hair and the beard. I don't know why, I just do. Uh, this is actually red oxide, is what it is. Okay, look at my time here. Uh, okay, in about 10 minutes. And I'll go can go a little bit longer. This is actually a red oxide right here. I'm gonna use a little red with a little black. Uh, I get my smaller brush, of course. stronger but as you can see I am constantly so when it when it dries it doesn't dry to such a strong um, uh, thing I'm gonna use a little brown come back with a little brown on it give it kind of a of a red base and then come back with a little brown and I will also use my um, uh, flesh tone too much about my flesh tone because I counteract that with my bull linseed oil. A lot of people make their own flesh. I don't. I use it right out of the bottle. Using uh, a very light touch of it as we work. I want to go to the hand now. Let me uh, I know there's a lot of guys that spend a lot more time painting. Uh, I don't like to paint <laughs> all that much so I, I spend as less time as I possibly can doing the painting but I do it the way I want it and uh, go from there. I think our time is about up. Um, so let me, um, uh, let's continue with this when we come back, okay?